Do you want more great content from me? Check out the description box down below. Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another video. So today, um, it's about half eight, I think the date is the 27th, yeah it is. And uh, it's a very special day today actually. I'm going to put the phone down because I'm randomly shaking. Um, my hand's randomly shaking, let's put it down there. See if that's alright. Yeah, that's okay. So um, yeah, today, very, very special day. Uh, Tuesday the 27th of March 2018 and I've got some very very special guests coming over um, and also we're going to hit up the charity shops we're going to do a five pound challenge so what that means is we're going to both go into a charity shop with uh, five pound each and then we're going to have to spend all of that five pound or as close as to all of that five pound as we can in that one charity shop and then after a month or so, we're going to assess who's made the best profit on those items. So really, really fun. I have a feeling that the day is going to go pretty quickly because I'm quite excited. And when you're excited and you're having a good time, things, you know, it goes quicker. So I'm going to have to hope to remember to record and uh, not forget because I think I might forget a little bit to record. So I'm going to hopefully remember to record as much of the day as I can. Um, I'm also going to get an interview with them, which is going to be really cool, and uh, that'll be coming out on a separate video. So yeah, without further ado, I'm not going to ramble anymore. I will see you um, in the next segment of the video. So see you soon, guys. So look who it is. It's the Celtic Traders. Hello. What are we doing today? Today we are going out. Watch out, car, car, car. <laughs> today we're getting run over. Today we are going to check out the charity shops that Ad usually uses and we're going to have a £5 challenge where we're both going to spend £5 and see who makes the most money. Or awesome. the least money. Great. Right. Jake is holding it and get me one of the spikes that we can take. No, no. I just grabbed the first coat I got with the no, we haven't got one that we can take. Okay. Do you want your black and white? Yes. Right, I've got the keys on. I don't, yes. If you leave here, will you be coming back the way you came? I don't know. Ad's direction. Uh, Where's the next place? We're going down there, basically. Okay. Um, we're doing the five pound challenge now. We're going into Age UK. It's actually a pound shop, so uh, we'll see what we get. We've got to spend the entire five pound as well. That would be a poker set or something, wouldn't it? Probably. Probably go everywhere now, it's probably upside down. Feels like it should be that, right? even though they go the other way. Like... Yeah. yeah, poker set. <laughs> I know my place. <laughs> Teamwork. Have you got your items then? Teamwork. Yes, I think I'm just on the last minute check. Not even a thing yet, there's money in it. <laughs> So I've got my uh, five pound challenge items. Um, this is like the clearance area. Right. Most, I think all this is 25p usually. Is it? Well that has a two pound stick. Oh no, it's got a red X on, so I think it's 25p. Really? It's good when it's not wet, and sometimes yeah. there's loads of boxes out here. I think everybody's remembering staying at Granny's. Yeah. Where we could say Granny's. They were on every bed in Granny's house. Yeah. Yes, I did too. Well, I got yeah. married. Somebody bought it to come for it, but it's a carriage. Yeah. No, that's right. No. Well, you did yeah. to keep you warm. Yeah. That's the idea. Yes. I'll just go park the fire. Okay.
We are, you are, aren't you? We, yeah, we yeah. are off now. We're going to set off in the yeah. car. So, Bye. goodbye from the county trainers. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it was lovely to have you. It's lovely to see you as well. It's been great fun. Yeah, it really has. Yeah. yeah. Gonna go and check out the traffic on the M6. Huh? Mm. <laughs> so we get there. we'll see you online. Which yeah. is where we usually chat. Yes. Okay. And all the uh, best. All the best with the auction. Well, semi the best. I don't even yeah. want too much. Yeah. Left. All the best as long as you don't do better than us. Yes. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Adam and that is the day done. So, um, really, really nice to meet the Celtic traders. They're exactly as they are on video. Really, really bubbly personalities. Really lovely people. I've been talking to them for a while as well as watching their videos. So, and I feel like I know them quite well anyway. But um, when, you meet them in, when you meet people in person, it really cements that relationship. And uh, yeah, I really, I really enjoyed uh, spending a little bit of time around the charity shops with them. Um, they actually gave me a Celtic Traders badge as well as some uh, sweets and some goodies. So I thought I'd just quickly show them off as well. We've got some uh, chocolate chip shortbread there. Obviously all uh, Welsh branded uh, items. We've got, well actually I don't think this, oh no this one is, yeah this one is. Um, and then we've got Tree Grow, I can't, I can't even say that but Treg Grows uh, Waffles. Toffee waffles there, and then I've already opened this one. <laughs> I've already opened these Welsh cakes because I didn't know what they'd be like, but they're actually quite nice. Um, and yeah, these are Welsh cakes, obviously, like I just said. They kind of you've not had them before. They're kind of like a biscuity kind kind of thing, but then also like a pancake. They're like kind of in betweeny. Um, or I don't know whether Eccles cakes would be similar. I don't know. I've I don't think I've ever had an Eccles cake, but I know what they look like. Um, and they've got like raisins or sultanas or something in, so they're quite nice actually. Um, so yeah, they they gave me a few goodies, and obviously I got the little Celtic Traders badge, so I was very happy with that. Um, so five pound challenge items. Um, we're doing an auction format actually for this. I don't know. I might talk to Caroline. I might maybe see if we. Might be better off doing a buy it now um, format and with a time limit because we were talking about it and we weren't sure sure whether to go with a buy it now with a time limit, uh, you know, on the challenge and then price to sell or whether to do auction. But now I'm looking at my items that I've got and I don't think these are going to do very well on auction. So I don't know, but it all depends whether the items that Caroline got, um, whether her items will do well on auction and stuff. You know, if she thinks they're going to do well on auction, then I can't really take that away from her. We'll just do it on auction. But if she doesn't think her items are going to do well on auction, and I don't as well, I don't think my items are going to do well, well then maybe we're better off with a buy it now for, uh, format. So yeah, anyway, for a quid, I got this, um, uh, what is it, Biggie Best. I don't know whether you're going to see the label very well there, but Biggie Best. Um, Teddy Bear, my mum actually picked this up. Um, it was only a quid. I I was looking around and I couldn't find anything, so I thought, right, I'll take that, and it's just a pound towards my five pound. So, uh, yeah, I got that. I can't see any of these Biggie Best teddy bears on Complete and Solds. However, I can see a lot of, like, um, pillowcases, pillows, things like that. Not pillows, uh, cushions and things like that. So, um, I don't know, but the cushions seem to be going brand new, about 20 quid. So, I, I really don't know on that, but it's, uh, yeah... One quid, I couldn't really say no to that. I wanted something to start off my challenge. Next is probably what I feel is the best item of the, of the three that I got for the £5. This is a Harris Tweed uh, M&S St. Michael, so it's a vintage M&S uh, hat. Got it for three quid, um, and it's a lovely hat, to be honest. If I was doing that by it now, maybe could push 15 quid, something like that. Maybe taken off with 12 quid, something, but um, probably put it on for about 15 these Harris Tweed hats, I don't know specifically about the M&S ones, but the actual Harris Tweed hats branded without affiliation to any other company seem to be, you know, retail, they seem to be about 30, 35 quid. So, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I, I'd probably shoot for 12, 15 quid on that. So, yeah, quite happy with that. However, doing it on auction, I'm not sure how that's going to perform on auction. And then finally, there's another hat, uh, which is a, uh, for £1, it's a... Uh, rain rolls right off, um, so I'm assuming when you're out in the rain, it just rolls off the hat. Um, I actually thought that was a brand for a minute, well, you know, when I was actually looking at it in the charity shop. Um, and then it's a, I think the brand is Totes or something I can see here. Uh, paid a quid, 
I can see a lot of these style hats with this kind of brand um, being sold internationally for £10 plus postage, £15. But I've not seen any UK sales, so I really don't know on that. But it seems, it, you know, feeling it now, it does seem reasonable quality. Um, I've been picking up hats for a few months now, and I kind of get to gauge whether something's of quality or not. It's not necessarily how much knowledge you have on a certain subject. It's just whether you can gauge quality from not quality in any in any field, you know, whether it's antiques, whether it's collectibles, whether it's, uh, you know, hats or whether it's toys, whether it's vintage toys or anything like that. It's just being able to gauge what quality is against not quality. So, yeah, I thought this had some quality to it. So, uh, yeah, we'll see on that one anyway. So that's my little uh, roundup of my challenge items. I'll sign off now. Again, I just want to say thank you for the Celtic traders coming up and visiting. Uh, really, really nice. I had a lovely time of it. We went around the charity shops. I did grab an interview with them and they grabbed an interview with me that was kind of very, uh, let's say, very big and bold, my interview with them. So if you want to check that out, that'll be on their channel. I'll leave a link down below. The interview with them will be on my channel. Um, so yeah, I don't know when they're going to be coming out with their videos of today, but I'm probably going to upload this tomorrow or something. But I'll, I'll probably talk to Caroline so that then we've got some sort of scheduling in place so that then I'm not coming out with my videos first off if they want to come out with theirs or anything. So, yeah, I will uh, leave it there, guys. Thank you for joining me, and I will see you in another video. See you very soon, guys.